Thomas March wrapped up just a few short minutes ago here at the, the U of I Medical Center. It began just a few blocks away. These marchers trying to make the point that from where uh, Damian Turner was shot, it takes less time to walk here than it does to ride by ambulance to the hospital where he was taken. Took to the streets, dozens of friends and neighbors of 18-year-old Damian Turner. It was here last month at 61st and Cottage Grove that Turner was shot. There were multiple hospitals nearby, including the University of Chicago Medical Center, which is less than half a mile away. But because UFC and all other Southside hospitals lack a level one trauma center, Turner was taken to one that has one, Northwestern Memorial Hospital, almost 10 miles away. South side, north side, west side, no one should have to travel um, so many blocks just for them to get their lives saved. Though it's uncertain whether a closer trauma center might have saved Turner's life, his death has renewed questions about why the South Side, which continues to be plagued by violence, lacks a facility that can offer more immediate and comprehensive surgical care. U of C's trauma center closed in 1988 because, according to officials, it was draining resources from other departments, including its world renowned burn unit and cancer and transplant centers. You would have to transfer resources from the other things that we do and the things that we do extraordinarily well and not a lot of other people do and then focus those resources on being an additional trauma center. U of C does have a pediatric trauma center and Turner could have been treated there had he been two years younger. Chicago has four level one trauma centers, but currently many Southside shooting victims are taken out of the city to Advocate Christ Hospital in Oak Lawn, which treats 4,000 trauma cases a year and is 40 blocks off the Dan Ryan. We meet the state standard, but the state standard of 30 minutes is 30 minutes. You know, it'd be, if you can get there in 10 minutes, that's, that's better. Still, trauma centers treat a large number of uninsured, and that high cost can be a deterrent for hospitals, something Turner's mother doesn't want to hear. If they can put a heart into one chest, they can put a new liver into one chest, they can save a life, a person's life that's only a block away. There used to be two level one trauma centers for adults here on the south side. The one here at UFC Medical Center that went away in 1988, as well as one at Michael Reese Hospital, which is, of course, no longer around. These marchers chose today to demonstrate because Damian Turner would have turned 19 today. Live at UFC Medical Center, Eric Hong, ABC 7 News. Alan. Okay, Eric.